All right, so today we are still multiplying, but we're going to talk about some of these special patterns um, that come up as we multiply that we're going to refer to as special products. Um, but you could multiply them out the same way we've been doing the last couple of days and get the exact same answer. So this is more a shortcut if you notice um, right away that it is a special product. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do these first two like we have been the last couple of days and see if we can notice any patterns, and then I'll tell you what the pattern is. Um, so here I'm going to have my x minus 4 twice. That squared means we'd have x minus 4 times x minus 4. So that give me x squared, negative 4x, negative 4x, and 16. So I have x squared minus 8x plus 16, because remember I'm going to combine those terms on my diagonal here. Negative 4 plus negative 4 is negative 8. So here I'm going to have my 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1. 2x times 2x gives us 4x squared. Then we have 2x and 2x and positive 1. So this one would be 4x squared. plus 4x plus 1. So the pattern that comes up when we're taking these things and we are squaring them, we're taking a binomial and we're squaring it, is that this first term is just this part squared, the last term is this part squared, negative 4 squared is 16, and the middle are your two terms multiplied together and doubled. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x, double it, you get negative 8. Um, here, 2x squared is 4x squared, 1 squared is 1. Multiply them together, you get 2x, double it, you get 4x. Um, so this is our algebraic expression of what's happening here. If I have a plus b squared, then I have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If it's subtraction in the middle, the only difference is this second term's um, going to be subtraction. Okay, the last one's still always addition because when you're squaring that second term, a negative times a negative is still a positive here to make the last one plus. Um, just the middle term will be diff um, different. So now let's do a couple examples with this shortcut. And again, you don't have to use the shortcut. In fact, personally, on this type of problem, I think it's just as much work um, to use the shortcut as, as, as it is to use the box method. So really it's your personal preference. I'm going to show you the shortcut, but if you prefer to use the box method, go for it. All right, so on this one, if I square 3x, I will get 9x squared. If I square 2y, I'm going to get 4y squared. Okay, so that's my first term and my last term. The middle term means I'm going to multiply them together, so I get 6xy and I'm going to double it to get 12xy. But if that doesn't make sense to you, use the box method, you'll get the exact same answer. Here my first term, if I square it, is x squared. My last term, if I square it, 4 times 4 is 16. If I multiply them together and double, I'll get 4x, double that is 8x. Okay, and that's my final answer. But again, totally okay to use the box method. This doesn't save you a ton of time, but if you do recognize that you have the same binomial twice or the same binomial squared, um, you can use this shortcut. There is one more shortcut that I do actually think saves us quite a bit of time and will be handy when we move on to factoring as well, is when you have a difference of two squares, where you have the same thing except one is addition and one is subtraction. So let's First, multiply it out the old way with the box method so we can find a pattern, and then I'll tell you what the pattern is. So I have my x plus 2 and x minus 2. So x times x is x squared, and I have 2x, negative 2x and negative 4. And on the diagonal here, these are going to add to 0. And I don't want to write 0x. 
I'm just going to leave it out. So x squared minus 4 would be our answer here. 0x is the same as 0. 0 minus 4 is still a negative 4. So whenever you have a 0 as a coefficient, that term is wiped out. It is gone. Okay. Here, I'm going to do my 2x minus 1, my 2x plus 1. So this would give me 4x squared, 2x, negative 2x, and negative 1. And again, what happens here is these are going to add to 0. And I'm going to end up with 4x minus 1. Okay, so if you've noticed, both of these middle terms canceled out. Also, the first term is just x squared. This one, 2 squared is 4. I left off an exponent by mistake here. 2x squared is 4x squared, 1 squared is 1, okay? So that is your shortcut here. When you have what we call a difference of two squares, where it's the same binomial, but just the two signs in the middle are different, this one's addition, this one's subtraction, it's just the first term squared minus the second term squared, and it will always be minus in this case, because you have a positive times a negative is a negative. Okay, so it's just going to be a minus in the middle. x squared is x squared. 6 squared is 36. And we're finished. That saved us so much time. Now, if you don't remember this shortcut, when you do the box method, you'll get the same answer. So it's not a huge deal either way if you prefer the box method. Here, x squared squared gives us x to the fourth. 2y squared gives us 4y squared. And we're finished. That's our final answer. Those middle terms are always going to cancel because here I would get a positive 6x and a negative 6x. Those add to 0. Here I get a negative 2x squared y and a positive 2x squared y. Those would add to 0. So these don't have a middle term because of that. Um, so that's it for your notes for today. It's just a couple shortcuts if you notice them. But you can always use the box method. So at this point, you do have a short delta math assignment to work on.